Hi everyone, Chris here from My Old House Fix and today we're going to talk about porch swing installation tips and tricks. So we want to make sure when you're installing your swing that you install it correctly as it's going to have a heavy load on it. You want to make sure it's safe and installed correctly. So what we have here is your brackets mounting to the ceiling and depending on the framing of your ceiling the ceiling joists either run left to right as you see here or they run long ways this way front and back. So depending on that position you want to make sure that your bracket is in the very center of that joist. As you'll see here in the past they kind of missed the center just a bit and these bolts are so large you want to make sure that you're in the exact center of the ceiling joist especially if it's a single ceiling joist and you're not able to beef it up at all because you don't want to have it out on the edge and overload it or have it pull through the ceiling. So how do we do that? So we have the ProFinder 5000 here. If you look at my resource page, they now have a 6000. It scans up to two inches deep, where this one is only about an inch and a half. And let's see if this bad boy will go through this beadboard ceiling here, as it's pretty thick. So we're gonna stick it up here, press the button. And what I like is it always finds the center of the stud for you. So as it's moving along, you see the lights come on. You see it moving and coming across. And as you'll notice, the stud is here. And it's perfectly lined up with it. And as you move it down, it always tells you where the center of the stud is. That's what I like. See that? So now that we know where the center of the stud is, we would mark it here. And as you see, it's pretty close to that nail that they already had in here. Pretty close. So you'll mark the center. That way you know that your screw or your bolt goes right into the center of that ceiling joist and it won't pull out or won't be toward the edge. It'll be nice and safe. So back to the placement. So what do we do? depending on location as we said your ceiling joist will be running left to right so if we found the center we're good to go here with this setup because it's running long ways we we'll use the pro finder to find the center pop the holes in bolt the brackets we're good to go but it's a little tricky if it's they're running this way so you may depending on where you're putting it you may have to bridge two ceiling joists from here down to here just depending on where you're going to or the other way around. If you're not hitting a joist, you may have to put a 2x4 or some kind of brace to bridge between your, your ceiling joist. Every application is a little bit different. So that way you have a good mounting point. If you're mounting in the center and your joist is here and down here, you can mount it in the center because this is tied in on each end to a joist and you're nice and safe. Or if the center one is too weak and you want to beef it up a bit, you'll see here I did reinforce the sides a bit because it's just a single 2x4, so I did reinforce the sides a bit. If you put five, six, seven hundred pounds on here with this five foot swing, it could get a little, a little springy. So we want to make sure it was reinforced and the crown molding will cover this up when we're done. So once you have it installed, you want to make sure it's safe as well. A spring kit is good for comfort as it has a little spring to it, but you want to make sure that you put your safety chains on. And you might be asking, what are safety chains? So if this chain was not here, the silver one, and this spring was to break, it would cut loose from the top up here at the mounting point and it would fall to the ground. So if this spring was to break or the chain, you have a safety chain connected. So that way, if this spring was to break, it will only drop a few inches before it catches and it won't come crashing to the ground. So always make sure, especially if you have a, a spring kit installed, make sure you have your safety chains installed so it doesn't free fall to the ground. Okay, that's about it. Uh, step number one, find where your mounting points are, find the center, bolt your hinges, attach your kit, make sure you have your safety chains, attach, uh, cha safety chains attached, and your swing is installed. Easy as that. All right, everyone, I hope that helped out a little bit, and I hope that helps you get your swing installed this summer. And when you get it up, post some pics on the site. Let us know how it turned out. See you guys later.